it was a cold morning, but it was clear. And so the clock was ticking down and the, the, you know, the tension is sort of building as after a year, in my case, 26 years since I decided to turn myself into an astronaut, I'm actually in the rocket ship getting ready to go. And it looks like today's going to be the day. And at five minutes before launch, we commit, we turn on some systems that, um, that it, it's going to take a long time to turn the vehicle around. So, so it's like when you get to five minutes and you turn on the auxiliary power units, you're like, okay, we're serious about this today. And, um, and watching the clock kick down and then about uh, 30 seconds before launch, the vehicle actually takes over from Florida and becomes uh, its own little entity ready to go, making its own decisions. And then six seconds before launch, the engines start to light and you go from no thrust from just someone lying on their back in Florida, like, like a tourist, to now having 80 million horsepower exploding underneath you in a matter of six seconds. So it's a pretty incredible transition, like the, the violence of it, the raw power of it. it. It shakes you and it's as if there's been some enormous accident just behind you, but somehow you're, you're getting blown out in front of it. And, and the, the launch pad, I, I trained myself, of course, I'd simulated this for years, to look to the left as the engines lit so I could watch the top of the launch tower disappear. And by the time we clear the top of that launch power, launch tower, we're already going 100 miles an hour, straight up, accelerating. And you're just getting crushed heavier and heavier because, you know, uh, Newton figured out F equals MA, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. You're burning fuel at a hell of a rate. So your mass is dropping, your force is steady. So your acceleration is going up and Newton would have loved the ride. And the, you're just getting crushed heavier and heavier. And then the air is still thick. So this vehicle is is brute forcing its way through the atmosphere, and there's you know there's wind shear and, and jet streams and things. So it's a violent ride, banging you back and forth. And the vehicle is, if you've looked at the space shuttle, it's this nice little craft, but it's attached to this huge gas tank with two big solid rocket boosters on the side. It's a big flexible thing. So you're getting shaken, like like you're in some rattle trap old car going on a rough road, and you push up through the speed of sound in 45 seconds. You're going faster than Chuck Yeager in 45 seconds, accelerating straight up. And then after two minutes of this wild shaking, the solid rockets have got you above the air and they're out of fuel and they explode off and it goes from crazy rough to dead smooth, but now just getting heavier and heavier and heavier uh, because uh, now you're on the liquid engines um, and you're above the roughness of the air. Now you're just trying to get fast enough to stay in orbit which is a five miles a second, you know, 28,000 kilometers an hour, 25 times the speed of sound. So it's like this, this um, oiled dragster as these engines are just getting you going. And the speed is crazy because you're watching a Mach meter, you know, the speed of sound. And you think Mach 1, the speed of sound. You're watching Mach 12, Mach 13, Mach 14, 15 times the speed of sound. Is this, you know, it looks like some science fiction thing, but it's you, you know, in this thing. And I'm part of the flight crew watching all of the emergencies that can be happening, the thousands of things we've trained for. As each one of them goes by and goes, okay, that didn't happen. Good, on to the next thing. But finally, after about uh, eight minutes, we're accelerating so hard, Ruth, that it would actually rip the shuttle apart. And the computers, or, or we can do it by hand if we have to, they bring the throttles back to idle, the three of them, just to keep the shuttle from tearing itself to pieces out of brute force. And finally, at the end of that, after about eight and a half minutes or so, actually eight minutes and 42 seconds, um, exactly, this thing has done its job. Uh, it's, it's hurled you up off Florida. It's got you above the air. You're in the blackness of space. You're going exactly the right speed and the right direction and the engine shut off and you're weightless. It's a great ride.